Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to more. Z uh, I was about to say welcome back to more zombies. That's <laughs> that's the topic that we're doing. Yeah, that is the topic we are doing. We are not actually playing a game called Zombies. That is, as of what's the game for the tell, I have no idea. But yeah, continue on with your intro. Do not let me spoil it. Well, you sort of just have, but okay, sure. So well, yes, we're doing more War Thunder. Still talking about zombies. That's what I should be saying. Um, so yes, we basically just gone over how somebody reanimates into a zombie, wasn't that? That was the last topic that we did. Yeah, it's the last topic. Uh, well, it's the last part of the topic that we were doing, yeah. Which was how somebody reanimates into a into a zombie. Uh, you've, I'm sure you have lots of other wisdom to, to um, give to us. Yeah, well, do you know... Um, I'm, well, I hesitate to say different types, but different body types of zombies. How so? I explain. Um, yeah, I explain. Just bolster it out. What are you talking about? That is a bit vague, so what are you, what are you actually trying to say there? Well, as in, like, you you mentioned something about different climates, didn't you? Yeah, I mentioned something about different climates. I said that different climates may um, drastically change... Um, may drastically change um, how zombies' bodies react to it. Um, I think that's what you're trying to get out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so... It's... Um, so here, in England, Europe, whatever, that would be... Um, the zombies would be your classic zombies. Yeah. You know, if you if you are somebody to draw a zombie, they'll probably draw like a a normal looking man, but as a zombie. Yeah, that is the basic default zombie looking thing. Um, yeah, so people would normally draw draw that, but then it's like rainforests and uh, other hot hot humid climates, especially the zombies would be more bloated because they would have more pus and stuff like that. I think that's that's what it was. Um, whoops! I accidentally hit my microphone. Um, but if they're in a hot, humid climate, the zombies would be more bloated, um, with pus and um, things like that. And so, when it came to actually fighting the zombies, you really want to be more ranged, because they ha they can... Um, I was going to say that they have been known. Um, so they have been known to um, explode, um, and the pus to... Uh, fly out onto the um, zombie fighter in question, um, and that stuff is deadly. That's like ten times worse than like a regular zombie bite, because it's basically just loads of zombie fluid just going all over you, and any cuts that you may have had previous which weren't from a zombie, that would be, yeah, that would be bad to get zombie bile and pus into. Um, but then it also desert climates. Um, Zombies would dry out a lot quicker, so they would be more skeleton than proper zombie. Um, yeah, they'd be more sort of skeleton corpses, little little amount of flesh. They'd be very skinny, probably bones showing a lot um, a lot more prominent than if it was um, a classic zombie, shall we say? Hey y'all, I just joined the stream. What what the hell are y'all talking about? Uh, we're talking about zombies, old chap. God damn zombies. Well, you know what I would do in a zombie situation? No, please, explain. Well, because y'all don't live in America, um, y'all gonna be screwed, because y'all don't have guns over there. If you do, y'all don't use them, right? Y'all you, you ain't, ain't gonna have, uh... Y'all ain't gonna have enough to go around, so y'all y'all gonna be screwed from the first outbreak. I mean, here in America, we got guns aplenty. We're we're gonna be tearing up zombies, like left, right, and center. We ain't gonna have no zombie problem here, nah. Soon, soon as zombies get out, we're gonna have U.S. Army set on them. We're gonna be shooting them up in droves, man. They ain't gonna survive more than a week out in America. Ah, oh, is that so? Yeah, of course that's so. I mean. We ain't living in England. We 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 have guns. We have a multitude of weapons. We don't we don't have to rely on like freaking monocles, top hats, and 
freaking walking canes in order to survive ourselves. We we got guns. We'll we'll just be shooting them. In which case, explain to me this: Why is every zombie movie or scenario set in America? Huh? If America has got so many guns and is so zombie-proof because they have so many guns, explain to me as to why zombie movies are always set in America. America is the first thing to uh, be killed off, as it were, in a zombie apocalypse, huh? Explain to me that. Well, see, it ain't it ain't so much about how America would be the first to fall. It is more about modern day and the fact that people really need people in America to watch their movies, so they just said in America, because if it's said in America, all Americans are going to go, oh, hell yeah, we're in it, we're going to win. That means I'm going to watch it, which is is basically just modern day Marxism. That's the only reason that they're... That's the only reason they're said in America. I mean... Otherwise, if a movie don't have America in it, people ain't interested. That's... American people especially, they ain't gonna be interested in it. No, I mean... I mean, if y'all said it in England like like you did um, 28 days later, that that's a different thing, though, because... See, y'all said it in y'all said it in England for 28 days later, and that and that's basically just London gets infected. But that that ain't proper zombies because they ain't proper zombies. They weren't classified as zombies. They 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 it was basically a disease of the brain. That that's what uh, 28 days later was. That that weren't no uh, that weren't uh, they weren't zombies. They were they were ill people um, out of their mind. They weren't. They weren't infected with no zombie virus. That's a, a different thing. They were, they were, they're not right in the head. That's, that's, that's what 28 days later was, and, and also 28 weeks later. That, they weren't zombies. They were ill people. Proper zombie movies. They're sitting. I, and I mean, I'm sure plenty of people in America did like 28 days later, but it wasn't, it weren't proper zombie movie. Proper zombie movies like, uh, well, actually, thinking about it, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead is a pretty good movie. I quite like that. That was, they had zombies, but that it's really just modern marketing. That that's the only reason zombie movies are here in America. It's because because otherwise, American public don't want to watch nothing that doesn't have America in it. Well, yeah, but then I've also um, whenever the zombies come up, I always make um, I always make the poke. At, at America, which is that um, in England, because like you said, we don't have that many guns, um, so you're saying that we'd be worse off. However, before you were in here, you went uh, here last episode, which is that I was basically saying. Well, actually, no, it was the German that said it. Do you want to? Do you want to say it? You're not sure. I will. I will. I will uh, educate this American, um, which is that. Because in America you have got lots of guns, that means that um, that means that a lot of if you are in a static base, this was the thing in the Walking Dead that uh, Abraham Ford, which was the Amer the um, American sergeant that uh, arrived in the Walking Dead, it was in Compendium Two, I think. I'm not sure which one it was like. Um, it would have been Volume Nine of the Walking Dead, but um, yeah, anyway, he explains the whole idea of hordes and. Um, why you don't have a static base, which is why he was in his big American army truck, and that is that if you fire a gun in, um, if you fire a gun and you are in a static base such as, um, such as a house, that, that gunshot is going to go for, what, three kilometers? Three kilometers. And that will, that will go out. A zombie will hit, or maybe two, maybe ten zombies will hit. They will start moving towards the sound. If one of those zombies was to bump into another zombie, the zombies that was bumped will follow these other zombies because they are walking. The other zombie has no nothing better to do, so it will too follow the other zombies. If more zombies happen to spot these zombies, making their way over to a gunshot that they may have heard, say, a week has passed now and the zombies are still traveling, so say all of these zombies are traveling towards this gunshot, and other zombies see them. These other zombies are going to want to join up. And then by the time they actually get within viewing range of your static base, they're going to have generated a herd of hundreds, thousands, it depends on how many there are in the enclosed area. And 
For by the time they get your house, you have got a serious problem on your hand. So, that is sort of why America is going to be pro possibly more susceptible to zombies. Yeah, you can kill more with your guns, you're also going to attract more with your guns. So, it's sort of like a win-loss situation there. Um, but yeah, continue. Right, so, thank you for that. Um, and so, because you've... Um, yeah, so the the point that I make in America is that here in Britain, people may have crossbow, hunting crossbow. They would have yeah you know, knives, silent hand weapons. Um, the older zombies may hear as a thunk as they hit as somebody bashes the skull in of a zombie. Um, whereas, so you would be like hiding in in a building, watching some zombies from afar, you know, trying to find the best way to sneak up on them and dispose of them quietly. And then, like, the Americans will come in, and, like, two Humvees with, like, freaking mounted miniguns, just firing away, blazing away at everything, having, like, having, like, their miniguns heard in a 10 kilometer radius. And then, so, and then you'd just be there with perhaps your friend. And so you'd be sitting there with, like, you know, your crossbow, just face palming as these, as these Humvees just friggin' minigun the entire area. Which... Which is a fun thing that I like to say. Um, that is actually hilarious. Yeah, that's a very good thing to say. You you sounded very... Very unentertained. Well, why the hell do you think that is, huh? I will let you continue. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's like the Americans with the rifle, like they're big miniguns, they're massive, like Humvees, the tanks, or air, all of these Marines will, like, come in. But the, the only thing that you're really doing with that is just attracting more zombies to your immediate area, because you'd be there firing away at all your guns, you know, firing your tank guns, you know, just the big <laughs> as you fire your tank gun, and, like, the miniguns are going <laughs> as... That wasn't actually a very good minigun um, impression, but okay. Um... Nah, it was fine, continue. Um, but yeah, firing your guns, you're just going to attract more zombies. If you, if all of your marines were to be equipped with suppressors, sure, go ahead and kill zombies in left, right, and center with your suppressed weapons, but unsuppressed weapons, you're going to be firing everywhere, all the zombies are going to be going, Ugh, and they'll be coming towards you, and then you'll be going, ah, oh, goddamn. Um, as these zombies are... Yeah, making their way towards you. So yes, yeah, sure, you may have more guns between you. Doesn't mean you're necessarily more safe than, from zombies than anyone else. All right, all right. I, I'll see your point. I'll see your point. But thing is, what is the what is the percentage of guns in England compared to America? I mean, how does anyone know that? Actually, I do. You guys continue talking. I will search up for my for my Haynes manual on zombies. Y'all actually have a Haynes manual? I am not affiliated with this person in any way, shape, or form. I would like to say this. Ah, oh, come on, that's not true. Yeah, it is. I do not know you. You just randomly joined. We've been trying to get rid of you for ages. We we don't know who you are. All right, we, we are not affiliated with you. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, we are not we are not affiliated with you in any way, shape, or form. I'm, I cannot make this any clearer. Actually, I may have to hold off with actually getting out the zombie hand, the zombie hands manual. Can't find it. Is it in my college book? College back? No. I only have my 109 in there. You seem to have Haynes manuals on everything. Yeah, well, I do. I do. I have a pretty large amount of Haynes manuals. Well, not any useful Haynes manuals. I mean, I have a BF 109 manual, a, zo a um, zombie manual, a Tiger, a Tiger 1 manual. Um, and I think that's about it for for manuals. Um, yeah, but a zombie manual, really? Yeah, they make they make zombie manuals, Haynes. Actually, I do have another Haynes manual. I have uh, Wallace and Gromit, cracking contraptions. That's a good one. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. I had a quick flick sword. I quite like Wallace and Gromit. It's just a shame that they don't have any any more movies out so far. Because they were good. I liked the, I liked the Wallace and Comet. In fact, I just found it. God damn, guys. What? What is it? So I literally just paused the recording to go and find my Zombie Canes manual. Do you know where it was? 
Now, where the hell was it? I'm guessing you didn't look properly. You, you did a man search. You just basically glanced over the area and went, nope, it ain't here. And then just went off and looked somewhere else. Well, sort of, but it was actually hiding underneath a folded magazine. God damn, you didn't look very far, did you? No, I didn't really at all. Now, what was I looking for? No, I, I have completely forgotten. What the hell were you looking for? Uh, I do not know. What were we talking about? I, I don't know. Oh, I have I have got the actual... I'll save that for a different, different episode. I won't do it right now. But I do actually have... I do have how the how they've actually laid out the the evolution of the zombies and also the um how the state the transformation stages. But that'll be for a different thing. I wouldn't do it right now because I've already got like half gameplay of it so far, but yeah. And I suppose that once I finish recording this I can go back and look for what uh, why I was looking for my zombie hands manual. Um But yeah, okay. So yeah, zombies. Um yeah, why the hell were you were you all talking about zombies in the first place? I do not know. I didn't bring it up. Blame him. I have no part in this. I did not bring up the subject of zombies. I I'm blaming it all on him. I didn't I didn't know have any part in actually bringing up zombies. He just randomly arrived, pressed the record button, and randomly started spewing about stuff about zombies. I have got no part in this at all. Yeah, well, I, I can believe that. I can believe that. Crazy English pe people, I can believe that. You know, you know, do you all know that they, they call football... Well, they call soccer football. Yes, because that's how it's actually meant to be called. It's meant to be called football. You, you people named it soccer. Because for you, rugby, which is pretty much what American football is to you, is rugby to us. So, you know, you... you couldn't leave football how it was. You you just had to call it soccer. Why? It's football. You you kick a ball with your foot. It's self-explanatory. Soccer is what? It, it. I. I don't even know how how to decipher what what soccer means. Yeah. Well, y'all pronounce stuff differently. No, we don't. You you pronounce it differently. Actually, no. I remember watching in a. Uh, I remember watching a video of QI. And Stephen Fry has said that the most pure form of English is actually American English. Because y'all have changed since it was in like the 1950s. You don't have television programs, you have TV shows. Uh, there's some other things as well that I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but it's... It, they're there. It's like... Y'all English is not proper. Y'all ain't got the, got the more... Uh, y'all ain't got the more pure form of English we do. It's like, we... we no, I i ain't gonna say it. No. I, I ain't gonna say it. Come on, say it. Say it. No, Y'all can probably guess what I'm gonna say. I think I can actually guess. Okay, what is it? What, what you are gonna say is that Americans have basically just poisoned our, our, our way of saying stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. I, I was pretty much gonna say that, but as I was going to say it, I just thought, no, I ain't going to say it. They, if I say it, they're going to think, I don't know what, but I, I just did not want to say it. I thought somebody was going to bring it up anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, you just basically screwed yourself by, by sort of starting the sentence and then just going, no, no, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did. Uh, yeah. The thing about it is that I don't understand why you call chips. Like, proper chips made of potato. You know, the, the square the, the square chips that you have is, um... I, for you, I have to actually s say what I mean by chip. Um, what I mean is the things that you have with burgers. You know, chips. Ah, you mean french fries. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why you call them french fries. I mean, you you have... I mean, the, ch the chips that you have, the um, center chips, also they may be nicer, they're the more unhealthy form of chip. I mean, and for some reason you then called them French fries because I don't know France explained to me, but I don't know why did you call them that? And then, and then again with some um, crisps, crisps. There, why do you call them potato chips? 
And it says, no, I'm, I am confused as to why you've called them potato chips rather than crisps. I too do not quite understand why you pronounce them differently. I, was there something that happened between between when America was formed and now? I something happened. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, they're potato, a potato, and they're chips. I mean, it's. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, but crisps. They're they're known as crisps. They're not potato chips. They're crisps. It's like... Why? Why... Where in translation did it become potato chips rather than crisps? And where did chips become french fries? I... I don't know. And the same with pronunciation of words. Uh, stuff like basil. Yeah, basil. Basil and stuff like that. Basil, tomato. T tomato, tomato. Yeah, and again, gas. You y'all call it petrol. Y'all y'all don't call it gas. Only we call it gas. Yeah, exactly. It's petrol, petrol and diesel. It's not gas. It's not a gas in any way. It's a liquid. Petrol is a liquid. I mean, there is gaseous petrol. There are there are vapor fumes from petrol, but it's petrol that you put in your car is is pet is liquid form. I mean. As to how you manage to get to gas from petrol, I don't know, but it's one of these mysteries that will never get solved. Go with potato. Potato, potato. That's that's the thing. Yeah, y'all call, call it a potato. We call it a potato. It's it's a it's an American thing. That that's the only explanation for it. It's an American thing. Uh, and whilst we've been talking, I've just realised I've had my engine destroyed, and I've been I've been trying to throttle to 100%, and then it's been like, nope, that ain't gonna happen. You've lost your engine. Well, I've just landed my Fokker 8. Um, yep, my Fokker is dead. Yep, down it goes. Yeah, that that did not go well. Gee, I I was so busy. Talking about about ways of how Americans say stuff differently. I didn't notice that my engine had just been killed. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been flying around on no engine, but it it just hit me as I was like trying to fly up, and then I'm like, why aren't I rising? And then I was like, oh, wait, the thrust is on zero percent. That's why. <laughs> There's no engine in this plane anymore. It's dead. But anyway, yeah, I think I think without you actually sitting down and lecturing us on zombies, because we really need to know about zombies. I mean, who doesn't? Everybody knows, needs to know about zombies. But without you using your Haynes manual, uh, there's not really much else we can talk about. Other than perhaps modifying weapons, but since that can be for a different thing. Yeah, modifying weapons. I mean, really, modifying weapons, it's... Uh, Dead Island is really where where, um, where modifying weapons got to me from. Because uh, looking at the islands in Dead, in Dead Island... Looking at the islands in Dead Island? No, looking at the weapons in Dead Island, you can, you can probably recreate the results in real life, because you could probably... probably remake it. You could do. You could... It, if you were to just follow what the modifications entail, you could probably, probably could um, recreate those weapons. I mean, they seem pretty easy, especially like the Ripper mod. That's basically just mount a circular saw on top of a baseball bat. That's effectively all that is. So if you know how to build a small circular saw, that is an easy modification to replicate. But, yeah. Really, the the more easiest, the easiest one to, the easiest modification to make is to just nail some nails into a plank of wood or a baseball bat or some other blunt object. That's like the classic. That's like the classic modification to make. Because it's just so easy. It's literally just getting a hammer, some nails, and a blunt object, and you've made yourself an effective killing thing.
I was also going to say something. Uh, I was also going to talk about um, why you hit a zombie in the head to kill it and not anywhere else on the body. I think that was that was a thing. That was a thing I was going to talk about. But no, we can leave that for another for another uh, episode. Well, another thing, another talk. It'd be more like a podcast. You know, actually, one thing I was going to say is that you know this this reminds me of with us all talking, and me just really talking over this, because really, we're talking to each other, we're not really talking about the game, the gameplay, although I do sometimes spout randomly as to, um, as to little bits of informa- of, uh, gameplay, just to s- slightly break up conversation flow, but also to explain a particularly funny thing, or something that's happened, um, Yes. Um, mingles with jingles. That's what this reminds me of. Mingles with jingles. That's what I was going to say. Um, but yes. So um, thank you for watching this episode uh, with more zombies. Yay. Um, and goodbye.